Ask Reddit by questioning Hormos. What are the cons of not having kids? If I outlast my wife I'm probably gonna die in my living room chair and sit there for a few months till someone finds me. When I get to a certain age, I plan on starting a rumor that I'm secretly a millionaire with no one to leave it to, bet folk will check in on me then. Or I might have managed to make some friends by then. I've noticed that I have a very different sense of time passing since I'm not attached to the school calendar. I tend to not notice it passing as much. And then abruptly, it seems to catch up to me. I've noticed this just from quitting teaching. Time moves different for childless adults. According to my dad, if he didn't have kids, no one would talk to him. Which is true. But only because he's just awful to talk to. OMG, I'm sorry about it, but it sounds like Michael Scott from The Office, when he said he wanted to have 100 kids, so he could have 100 friends. If something breaks in your house, you have only yourself to blame. Blame your pets if you have any. Can't use the kids as an excuse to get out of social engagements you don't want to go to. I solved this problem by with these 7 easy words your social anxiety doesn't want you to know about, I don't want to go to that. PFFT. I have a niece that I count as my daughter to my boss. I have lots of photos of her and I can share when asked. You run out of people to tell your 4 funny stories and 6 jokes. My dad jokes are wasted. They're just jokes now smh. Who else will grab the remote? Delete it. If you like kids and want to volunteer with them I found not having one already gets more than a few raises eyebrows and well why are you interested shit, I'm not a kid snatcher, I just really enjoy it when I can give the kids back afterwards. This is oddly how I feel about dogs, fun and short time spans but want to then give back to their guardian. There are fewer people to walk the dog. Though that results in more healthy exercise. Wait, kids can walk the dog? I'm gonna have to have a family sit down. No one to avenge your death or finish your life's work. This is why you should get yourself an apprentice. Technically not your kid but if you become close enough with them they will utter the line. He was the closest thing I had to a father and you took him away from me as they plunge their sword into the heart of your enemy. You know, close enough. In general you lose all your friends who have kids. Parents socialize when the kids play etc, and you aren't invited so you miss out. Eventually you stop getting invited to most things because you're just not around enough to be planned in. Feeling super thankful for my friends with kids who still include me and want me around. Hard to explain this dad bod. You don't get to experience the joy of a second childhood. I'm childless by choice but I love seeing my niece's excitement over holidays and vacations. My brother loves playing Santa for the kid and seeing the joy of Christmas morning. My grandpa always joked that hanging out with me was like having a third childhood because we'd always do fun things like visit dinos or museums or make snowmen together. My husband was such a grinch about Christmas when we first met. I was able to get him vaguely warmed up to it over the years, but after our daughter was born, he suddenly was totally all about it. Now he has us visit a tree farm as a family and cuts down our tree. He insists we have the big family dinner at our house. He sings Christmas songs with us. It's almost unsettling, lol. Dealing with my mum's difficulties to accept that I will only ever give her grandkids. I have kids and my mill calls my cats her grandkitties, the dog her granddog, and the tarantula her grand fuzzy. People assume you have no plans or responsibilities. I sometimes feel hurt that I'm treated like less of an adult because of my choice not to get married and have kids. I chose to take on fewer responsibilities in a way that doesn't harm anyone. I don't see how that makes me less of an adult. 
you keep having to either dodge the question or explain why you don't have or want kids when it's nobody's fucking business. Just tell people court order, and leave it at that. Who else will hold the light when working on your car? You have to pick up the dog shit yourself. No joke, that was my main chore as a kid. In most countries, adult children will take care of the elderly parent. It's a huge factor in countries without safety nets. Even in countries with safety nets, the level of care is heavily dependent on how often people are coming from the outside to check on you. I have a few friends who are nurses in assisted living facilities, and one who audits them for the government, and they all agree that family checkups and simply being present to advocate for the patient are the number one factor in ensuring good treatment for that patient above even the cost of the facility care itself. If nobody is coming to check on you, you're simply going to be a lower priority for staff. After all, who are you gonna complain to? The same staff that's already ignoring you? Yes, ideally nursing home workers would never become jaded over time. Ideally teachers would never burn out either, or paramedics or 911 operators or sex crime investigators. Still happens. Nobody to inherit all the useless junk you've been saving in your garage. You probably meant this as a joke, but it's true and not always a bad thing. My grandma died last year and my grandpa died 7 years ago. Now that my grandma is gone we have been cleaning out their house. These people lived in one house merely their entire married life over 50 years. Going through their things has been a tremendous experience of getting to know them for me. As a grandchild, I came along late in their lives. We are sorting through the backs of closets that probably haven't been touched in decades. And yes, all of us taking some of their useless, pointless, worthless, but not valueless stuff. No one to help you out in your old age. I'm dealing with the reality of this right now. My dad is in a rehab facility for a broken hip, and anything he needs or wants I get for him. I'm pretty much the only person who visits him. Realistically, I'm the only person he's got. I've got no kids, no so, nobody I can really lean on, and I've come to the very sobering realization that if when something like that happens to me in old age, I am fucked. My 83 year old mom was just diagnosed with cancer. I'm not sure who is going to take care of me the way I take care of her. It is a big concern. Best wishes to you and your dad. Can't claim dependence on taxes. A. They cost more to feed clothe house educate than any tax break you get. I'm kinda surprised to not see this answer yet. Most of my child free friends complain about how other people tend to assume their life is less than. Work volunteers you to work late cause no one is at home needing you. Others expect you to be free for errands or inconvenient things. People don't understand why you can't just drop everything cause nothing in a child free personal life could possibly be as important as children. This. It's intertwined with the idea that family doesn't exist without children. That someone without children has no family that truly matters. There's an assumption that I have no responsibilities, and also that I should work every holiday without exception because those who have kids need those days off even if it's just a baby that has no concept of dates in general yet let alone holidays, or the kids event is in the evening after the store would be closed whereas my family get together is scheduled in the middle of the day. People trying to convince you to have kids felt this. It gets so damn annoying. Have you ever noticed it's the people whose kids hate them that want to pressure you the most? I just wanna say, and how has that been working out for you?